Some NFL players will wear Guardian caps this season. Those are protective soft shell helmet coverings. Now there's a new push to make Guardian caps mandatory for younger football players. CNN sports anchor Coy Wire has you covered on their potential to make the game safer. Each football season, sporting cathedrals like this, Mercedes-Benz Stadium, are full of excitement about the game. But each season also brings concerns for families and players about the dangers that come with it. There's been a recent uptick in efforts to make the game safer. One of them, these protective helmet covers called Guardian Caps. But do they work? The Georgia-based company aims to reduce damage that can be caused to the brain by the sudden stopping or rotation of the head. The NFL's research led them to make these caps mandatory for all players during practices, aside from kickers and quarterbacks who are off limits for contact. Players can also choose to wear the caps during the games. NFL Executive Vice President Jeff Miller says the statistics show the caps increase safety. As a result of the last two seasons, we saw about a 50% decrease in concussions in the positions that were mandated to wear them. So of course we said, okay, all positions will now wear them in this preseason. Now, NFL rule changes and advancements in the helmets themselves could also be leading to a decrease in concussions. The company says that more than 3,000 high schools and more than 750 youth programs currently use the caps. One question is, if the NFL is making them mandatory for the pros, why aren't they mandatory for kids? One potential drawback could be cost. Each one of these runs about $70, $56 when bought in bulk for a team. Many schools are already struggling with funding. And... The National Athletic Trainers Association has said that such products come with little to no independent scientific evidence showing that they actually work. The helmet and head protection is really the last line of defense. The first thing to do is minimize the number of head impacts that kids and other athletes are experiencing. One other potential drawback is the way it feels. Some NFL players say it makes them feel top-heavy at times. Well, the research will continue to be done and the push to make the game safer continues. Player safety is an evolving issue. Wire retired from the NFL just over a decade ago. He says the league now bans the helmet he used in his last season because it no longer meets safety standards.